Hello, hello, my friend. Happy Wednesday. Today, I'm going to be talking about what to do when you fall off the bandwagon with your nutrition and your fitness. And um, I'm also going to talk about cravings because I know we are in the season of cravings. Okay. So um, first thing I want to talk about is what do you do when you fall off the bandwagon? Okay. Number one thing I want you to know, you are not a bad person. Okay. I think a lot of us get in this mindset of, I am, I, I'm bad. I didn't do this right. Or we get in the shame cycle. Okay. The shame cycle that does not serve us. So if you fall off the bandwagon and you feel like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did X, Y, Z. I can't believe I ate half a cake. I can't believe I ate my kids Halloween candy. I shouldn't have eaten that pizza. Whatever it is that you felt guilty about, you are not a bad person. Number one. Okay. That's number one thing. You are not a bad person. And we have to get off the shame cycle. So one of the things I love, this is like a great analogy. It helps me a lot. It's called the blown tire theory. If you are driving down the road and you got a flat tire, would you get out of your car and pop the rest of your tires? No, you'd fix it and move forward. Okay. So we often do this with our health and nutrition and we get into this cycle of I am bad. And then we think oh, I'm bad. And now I can't, now I can't get back on because I'm bad. And we have this shame cycle that happens to us where we feel this guilt and the shame for doing something that we don't feel like we should do or that's not helping us towards our goal. We all have goals and we all have things that we're working towards. And if you're working towards a health and fitness goal and you get off and you feel like, oh, I'm now I'm bad. Now I should just keep going down this trail. Know that we don't want to pop the rest of the tires. So that's number one. Number two is notice the triggers, notice your triggers. So no, like, okay, maybe your trigger is three o'clock in the afternoon. You want candy. Maybe your trigger is after dinner. So if your trigger is after dinner, you're probably not eating enough during the day because if you're always hungry late at night, you're probably not eating during enough during the day. This happens to me. Sometimes I get busy and I don't eat enough during the day. And then I want to eat everything at nighttime. So that might be your trigger. So notice your triggers and then try to figure out a strategy to fix it. So if you're getting cravings in the afternoon, maybe you need to have something on hand, super simple that you can have that's going to help you with those afternoon cravings. For me, I use these organ protein shakes. I get these at Costco, super clean protein shakes. I have these on hand at all times because they super, super help my cravings because I know if I don't have something at 3 p.m. that I'm not going to be able to make it to dinner. I'm not going to be able to make dinner without eating a bunch of stuff. And I'm not going to be able to make it to dinner without trying to eat everything in the pantry. Okay. So this is what I use. That's one of my strategies. So know where your spots are that are hard for you. Okay. Another thing, um, getting back on track. So how do we get back on track when we've gone off track? One of the things then the tools that I think is the most helpful is track your macros. Okay. So for a couple of days, we are going to track our macros. I'm not a huge believer in doing this forever, but I do believe that you need to track your macros and track your um, nutrition for a few days to see what you're doing, because sometimes just seeing what we're doing helps our mindset. Okay. So what does that look like? So I use my fitness pal. You can use whatever app you like, track your macros. What are macros? Some of you might be going, what are macros? Macros are your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. Super important. Proteins, carbs, and fats. Personally, I believe you need to have more than 100 grams of protein a day. So shoot for more than 100 grams of protein. Have less than 45 grams of fat and more are in 120 to 150 grams of carbs, depending on how active you are. Now, those are my goals. Those are my rough goals for you. Um, everybody's body is going to be slightly different. You can go ahead and watch my video on, um, on YouTube on eating for fat loss, and that will give you a little bit more in detail on macros and carbs and proteins and what that looks like. But if you are looking for something for that, make sure that you are getting those right macros in your body. Okay. So, um, also, so a couple things that I use for strategies is I um, have a couple of products that I use. So I use um, this vitamin called Burn. Burn is like willpower in a bottle, okay? So if you struggle with cravings, this is an appetite control amazingness, okay? So if you need this, it gives you appetite control, gives you energy. Um, send me a message because I will send you a link for this with a $10 off coupon. It literally will change your life. Okay. So that's what burn does. I don't take it cause I'm pregnant right now, but you can take it when you're um, not pregnant. Also, 
if you struggle with cravings, another thing that I, or if you struggle with eating too many carbs, which also can lead to cravings, um, there's another product that I use called Carb Blocker. I don't have any right now because I'm pregnant. Again, I don't take it while I'm pregnant, but you can take it when you're not pregnant. So if you eat heavily carb meals, um, and you're like, oh, I'm just not reaching my goals. Carb blocker is not like going to be a miracle for you, but it is going to help you slow the absorption of carbs in your system. So maybe you're, you know that you're going to go Thanksgiving. Maybe you know that you're going to have other times in your life that you're like, oh, I'm struggling with these cravings. Carb blocker. You need to have carb blocker in your life. Maybe you have more carbs at nighttime every single night and you just know it. And you're just know that every night you're going to have more carbs carb blocker. It's going to slow the absorption of carbs in your system. So one of the reasons why I always talk about 30 grams of carbs, I'm not going to talk about this in this video, but if you want to watch my other videos, I talk about not eating too many carbs at one setting. The reason why is because that's how many are, that's how many carbs our bodies can absorb at one time, um, without storing them as fat. So what carb blocker does slows the absorption of carbs in your system. So if you do have a heavier carb meal, you're not going to see the effects of fat storage right away. That's one of the keys. So if you have been finding yourself getting off track, if you have been finding yourself, you know, going this way, going that way, and not quite getting the results that you're looking for, here are your strategies to help you get back on track, help you achieve your goals, and have success um, without having cravings through the holidays. Hope you're having a great Wednesday.